everybody and welcome to this latest episode of the Money Man News. And today we've got some fascinating and slightly unexpected news from Scotland. And the topic that I'm going to deal with today is complex and nuanced. So I think I will save some of the information that may be required for this video for a later video where I will talk about where Scottish banknotes fit into the wider picture of banknote usage within the UK because it's complicated and it requires a lot of analysis and I think Scottish banknotes confuse a lot of collectors. So do forgive me if I paraphrase or simplify some of the concepts surrounding Scottish banknotes in this video because I really want to focus on the decision of the Bank of Scotland to change the colour scheme of their upcoming £50 polymer banknote release. But before we do that, I need to give you a quick history lesson. So let's have a look. Now, the legal tender in the UK is produced by the Bank of England for use within the entirety of the UK. So that means England, Wales, Scotland, Northern Ireland, but also the Isle of Man, Jersey and Guernsey also use Bank of England banknotes. Okay. However, in Northern Ireland and particularly in Scotland, most importantly for this video, the commercial banks there actually have the right to produce their own currency. And interestingly enough, in Scotland's rich history of currency production, there have been many commercial banks that have produced currency for Scotland. For example, the Linen Bank. They used to produce currency for Scotland. However, they no longer do. I don't think the bank even exists anymore. However, there are still three commercial banks in Scotland that exercise this right and produce currency for Scotland. We have Clydesdale Bank, we have the Royal Bank of Scotland, which also produce some lovely commemorative notes as well for collectors, and we have the Bank of Scotland. And today I just want to focus on the £50 note. So traditionally, in more modern times, the £50 in Scotland has been green, and you can see an example from each of the three commercial banks right there. However, the Bank of England produce a £50 note that is red. Interesting. And why is that? Why are they different? Well, you'll seldom see actual Scottish banknotes used outside of Scotland. There are many places in England that would be very reluctant to take them, actually. Even though they are considered an official form of payment, Scottish banknotes are actually officially not legal tender. They are not defined as legal tender by law. And you might be thinking, well, how can something uh, that is not legal tender be used as a form of payment? Well, I will cover that in the future video because it's complex, as I said before. But today I just want to focus on this £50 denomination and an interesting change that has happened, which may mean something very interesting for the future, which I will get into a little bit later. So do bear with me. Now, if you contrast them, you can see that, of course, the Bank of England £50 is red, whereas the Scottish commercial banks use green. Until recently... But why do they use green? Well, they use green, or they used to use green, because their £100 notes are red. And Bank of England does not produce a £100 equivalent. Okay? So, red is the highest denomination, the colour of the highest denomination. So, in Scotland, it's £100. In Northern Ireland, it's £100. But in England, it's £50. Are you confused yet? I don't blame you. Now, interestingly enough, we are in the middle of the introduction of a new series of banknotes across the entire UK. The Bank of England is introducing its new polymer £50 note soon, and the commercial banks in Scotland and Northern Ireland are doing the same thing. And we had a press preview earlier on last year from the Bank of Scotland that showed the design for the new £50 polymer note. And you can see it's green, just like all of its predecessors. However, something has changed. Oh yes, that's right. There was a press release a few days ago from the Royal Bank, not the Royal Bank, the Bank of Scotland. It just slips off the tongue. The Bank of Scotland. And look, their new upcoming £50 polymer banknote is now red. 
it's red. The colour schemes of the Scottish banknotes, the commercial banknotes, now fall into line with the Bank of England colour schemes. And you might be thinking, well, so what? Who cares? But why have they done this? Well, I have a theory, and this is it. For a number of years now, politicians in Scotland and campaigners, even in England as well, have campaigned for Scottish banknotes to be given the same legal tender status as Bank of England banknotes. And they want them to be able to be used across the entirety of the UK, just as a Bank of England banknote would be. So they want parity between Bank of England banknotes and commercial Scottish banknotes. And that's very interesting, because it's not happened. However, this decision seems to have been taken in anticipation of Scottish banknotes getting legal parity with Bank of England notes. That is my guess. Call me crazy. Okay, I think that's what's happening here. I think the commercial banks in Scotland will still be able to produce a £100 note, but I think that might actually become green, or they might even choose an even an entirely new colour scheme for that if they decide to continue producing £100 notes. So it's fascinating stuff. It's fascinating stuff. I think that's what's happening here. I think a decision is anticipated that these Scottish banknotes will receive legal tender status. Okay, it's just speculation on my part. Now, it could be that they're changing the colour schemes to match the Bank of England banknotes to make their case stronger for that um, legal tender status. But I think I think there's more at work. I think there could be a decision behind the scenes that Bank of Scotland have got wind of and that they know it's going to happen and therefore they've changed the design accordingly. Now, if we look at the design elements of the obverse of this £50 note, you will see that they're pretty much the same as the green one that was previewed earlier on last year. The major images have remained the same, as have many of the core design elements. However, the reflective sort of clear window on the left has been slightly altered, namely the patterns of thistles that go around the outside. That has received some small subtle changes. But apart from that, pretty much everything else is the same. And if we flip it onto the reverse and look at the reverse, you will see that it's also got the Falkirk wheel, just like the green one that was supposed to be the final design. So this is really, really fascinating stuff. It could be that Scottish banknotes will be seen much more across the entirety of the UK and used much more widely, possibly. It's a very, very interesting idea. So let me know what you think about this. Do you think I'm just a crazy dude? That is very possible, but I think there's a, a reason for this. And we'll have to see what Clydesdale Bank do, because they will have to follow suit. You cannot have different colours for the same denomination within Scotland. That will be madness. So I think Clydesdale have also designed a red £50 note. So if they've done it, and Bank of Scotland have done it, something is going on. So if you're in Scotland, if you're near the action and you know more about this, please let me know, because all I've got is speculation at the moment. I'm just guessing, and I could be way off the mark. Maybe they just felt bored one day and decided to uh, give it a fresh red look. Maybe they've decided to discontinue the 100, and they're not going to produce a 100-pound polymer note, and therefore the 50 is going to be the highest denomination for commercial banks in Scotland in the future. Therefore, it has to be red. I don't know. That is another another avenue of speculation that we could go down but for me i think i think parity is the most likely outcome here and it's exciting i would like to see more scottish banknotes in england i'd be very happy about that so let me know what you think in the comment section about this one do you think it's as uh, as a significant change as i think it is well that's it it's been quite a rambly video this i hope you've learned something new um, I hope I've not mischaracterised the relationship between Scottish and Bank of England banknotes. They all represent the pound sterling. So at the end of the day, they are all the same currency in some ways, but actually in other ways not. 
<laughs> so this is why it's so confusing. But I'm very, very excited to get hold of these. Um, when I have actual examples, I will be doing a feature length video on the new commercial bank £50 notes from Scotland. And I will talk about the design elements in much more detail when I have real life examples to show you. So thank you so much for watching this video and sticking around to the end. I know this one was a bit of a slog. I've tried to record this video about 20 times and it's been driving me absolutely up the wall. Thank you so much for your patience and I'll see you guys on the next one. It's the Money Man, signing out for now. Bye bye.